This Illawah FCA season preview is brought to you by Whipple's Hybrids. More than a number. One of the charms of high school sports is the fact that it makes memories, but sometimes those memories can be tough. The Maquoketa Cardinals are coming off a 1-8 season, but their offseason has been memorable. The bright spot is, you know, we're going off of five consecutive playoff appearances and we went one and eight last year. And the mentality is with this group is that last year was just kind of like a speed bump. And uh, we're going to overcome that and get back to what we believe in and values and the hard work and everything that goes along with being a brotherhood of Cardinals. Well, and honestly, I mean, you've built that culture here where work is just kind of a given, too. I mean, how fulfilling is that for you as a coach that uh, the guys are knocking on the door to get in the weight room? It's, it's awesome. It really is because our, our kids believe in the blue collar ethic that we're going to come to work every day and uh, granted this is a game and it's going to be fun but the fact is that when we get there we're going to work extremely hard and enjoy one another. From last year we were all pretty heartbroken that we didn't make it and this year we're really striving to get back to that playoffs because one and eight was not something we really want on that schedule or that the schedule from last year so we really want to get better than 500 and definitely make the playoffs this year. Mm -hmm. What steps did you take to, to get to that point? Do you think? Um, definitely put a lot of hard work off in the off season, weightlifting, running, conditioning, extra work on our own, um, film, seven on seven on the weekends. As we worked hard, all of us, I mean, we all showed up and did what we were supposed to do and used last year as like motivation for this year to improve. Mm -hmm. And obviously you guys aren't far removed from uh, being a, a playoff a perennial team. I guess talk about that part that, you know, that that's out there for you to, to get back there and uh, hopefully play a little in November. Um, yeah, I mean, like starting off the year with Cascade this year, it'll be, it'll be good. We're all like excited, more than excited to come back and, I mean, just destroy, <laughs> I guess. I mean, we worked our butts off this summer and to like have the opportunity to play again and forget about last year almost. One of the great things that came out of last year is the fact that the Cardinals were very young, so lots of guys got playing time, and all that varsity experience could help Makokita make a quick turnaround. So we have a lot of talent returning. Uh, I think 15 returning starters out of the 22 on offense and defense. And granted, we, we took a lot of bumps and bruises last year with what happened, but uh, just getting used to that fact that they're playing varsity football at the game speed that that's played at. And these guys understand that now. Uh, they understand the pace that we want to keep. And, you know, as a spread offense, they understand that we want to get going. And uh, I like that. It's very encouraging. It's like a six gear for you guys, too. I mean, there's just uh, the defense. It's just got to drive the, the defense crazy you know the way um, there's just no breathing room between plays right and the matter of talent that you have really dictates what we're going to do too and, and, and last year we we're aware of that we we're gonna have to keep it simple just because of uh, what we're dealing with the, the mentality and not being a very physical team and so this year we've already worked in quite a bit of different schemes that we want to work defensively and I feel very positive about that defensive coordinator Ray Cavanaugh and our, our uh, offensive line defensive line coach linebackers at Colton Feller they just do a tremendous job with our kids and I'm blessed with a great staff. Everybody really like now they know what they're going to do since they're playing varsity. They got a little bit of varsity feel, know what it's going to be like to be on that high tempo offense like that, but I think everyone's going to be ready to get off the ball. And most of us are returning and I mean that's good. We all have that chemistry built up together and we'll play more as a team this year and I mean, compete with more teams. How does the district shake out, too? And how does that fit into the way you defend, I guess, too? Well, and that's the thing. We're, we're going to see different offenses every week. And whether it's uh, Dubuque Waller, who really wants to run the ball, or uh, DeWitt, or someone who can feel like they can throw the ball. And, you know, you never know. The Solon's a spread team. And that's the thing. We want to be able to defend people differently, dictating on how they're going to play us offensively. Uh, I feel really confident that our, the kids that are returning understand that. And they've made that commitment. Grant, we would like to have more kids with us in the program, but you know, these are the cards that we have and we're going to play them. Maquoketa High School has it going with a Fellowship of Christian Athletes huddle. Are you ready to start an FCA huddle at your college, high school, or middle school just like they have here? To find out how, you can contact me or check out our website at illawafca.org. With this FCA season preview, I'm Dan Pearson.